wa wengi katika seneti ambaye ni Irungu Kangata kutoka kwa wadhifa wake kama kiranja wa serikali katika mbunge ya seneti. Mtajua ya kwamba kuondoa kiranja wa bunge katika seneti kuna ile sheria ambayo iko kwa standing orders ambayo ni lazima ifuatiliwe. Lakini kile kimetushangaza ni kwamba hata kangata mwenyewe hakuandikiwa kuelezewa mashtaka ambayo yamkabili kabla ya kuitwa kwa mkutano huu. Sisi wenyewe hatukua tunajua tunakuja kuelezea makujandili ajenda ya kumngoa. Kwa hivyo njia ambayo iliyotumika kuitwa mkutano huu ni mbia amba, ni njia ambayo sio halali. Na kingine nasema ni kwamba hata kama mambo yakiwa hivyo na kushaelezea yule uh, chairman wa kikao ambaye alikuwa tuju akaamuru ni lazima tuendelee na kunjadiliana ili tumuondoe kangata. Sheria yasema ya kwamba lazima maseneta waweke saa hii resolution ya kumuondoa kiranja wa mbunge katika seneti. Na kwa hivyo nafikiria wanatakana watu kama nane ama kitu kama saba. So sisi wenyewe wale walio hapa tumekataa kuweka hiyo resolution kindole sababu hatuoni makosa ama sababu ya kumuondoa kangata. Tumewaacha kama wanataka kufanya fonjari vile walikuwa wamefanya zile zingine wao wenyewe wasifanye tujue watoto wao wapi wa kumuondoa uh, kangata sababu nambari zile ambazo zinazotakikana aziko na hawana na hawatazipata kwa hivyo sisi mkutano umeisha tumeamua tuende wao waachwe wafanye zile cooking ya upishi wao wa manamba sababu nafikiria wamekuwa architect sababu ni chama chetu ambacho akiamini sasa kuna maana ya kutumia sheria kwa hivyo umefika wakati wa kutia sahihi katika tume, wakati umefika na, na ile form ya resolution kupelekwa round ndio tumeikataa na wao wengine tumewaacha kwa hivyo na kulingana vile nambari zilikuwa katika kule nyumba zilikuwa chache sana kwa hivyo hawawezi kusipata hizo nambari kwa hivyo nitamuomba bwana Murkomen useme jambo we can say in english right yes english okay uh, um, first of all uh, we want to say that uh, the events that have happened at KICC here in the Senate PG of Jubilee are regrettable the party leader promised to attend the meeting and uh, actually the security and everybody was here waiting for him uh, i think they never expected that uh, a certain uh, faction of the jubilee will be attending and because we came on time by 10 a.m they advised the president not to come and so the president was unable to come because uh, we came in good numbers as you can see we are standing here in solidarity with our brother uh, senator kangata number two we were only 24 in the room and out of the 24, you can see uh, how many of us are here. We are nine, nine. I suspect, nine. yeah, because yeah. I had counted also when we two and, who have stepped up. Yeah, and uh, Senator, nine. Senator nine. Ali of Wajia yeah. Yeah. Uh, spoke in the meeting and said, if Kangata is going to be removed because of uh, his mm -hmm. comments on BBI, he will not sign for his removal. So we, we are sure that Senator uh, uh, Ali of Wajia walked out in protest and said he's not going to sign the list. So we, about 10 of us, let me start with that. I will tell you that the Jubilee Coalition in the Senate has 38 members. Three are illegally there because Kanu are not supposed to be part of the coalition. It was, the coalition agreement was not sanctioned well. But be it as it may, we have 38 members, including those uh, of Kanu who have been accommodated illegally. Of the 38, you need 20 senators to sign the removal of any leader from office. Of the 20 senators, I can tell you without any fear of contradiction that they only have about 15. They cannot fill 20 senators. So what is going to happen this afternoon, most likely, as they have done before, is uh, that uh, Speaker Lusaka is going to do his normal fraud to announce figures that do not exist. And I am sure he will not even make a ruling. He will do exactly what he did to us. Yeah. He will just say, I have received a letter from Jubilee. I am satisfied that the standing orders have been complied with, and therefore Senator Kangata has been removed. 
This is the new normal in this country. It is a paradox, and I want to tell the public for them to appreciate. The meeting was opened. I was given a chance to speak. Senator uh, Langat, Senator uh, Lelegue, I mean Senator Cherge, Senator Cheriot, Senator Ali, uh, Senator Linturi. None of the people who spoke supported the removal of Kangata. All the others just kept quiet. And as I told you, there were few. And the charges, we asked that Senator Kangata be told what are his charges. First of all, they asked Kangata to resign. Kangata said he's not going to resign. We asked that they give us the charges against Kangata. They said that he wrote a letter uh, against the BBI in Mount Kenya region. And we asked them whether they send a letter of show cause to Senator Kangata. They did not. So we opposed that process and we asked them to do a proper letter to Senator Kangata to show cause. Let him respond to that letter. Let us be called to listen to the charges against him and then members will be allowed to vote. Uh, the, uh, the Secretary General was cantangarous, uh, banged tables and, and, and terminated the meeting abruptly. And we want to say here that without any fear of contradiction that this uh, Jubilee Senate team, uh, those who have been chased from various committees, those who have been chased from leadership, we are now more than those who have remained. <laughs> and now we are going, it's a very sad story of Jubilee. Those, those, who, are, those who are out are more than those who are in. Because we have an existing caucus, we are going to accommodate Senator Maura, and Senator Kangata, and perhaps we will even make Kangata a leader of our caucus now, yes. yeah, of the people who have been removed. Yes. Yes. And uh, if the Senate was run fairly, we would even be able to produce the majority leader from our caucus and the, and the deputy majority leader and all the leadership of the Senate. So we have no, uh, we have opposed this process. We are going to stand with Senator Kangata. We are going to oppose any fraudulent process that is going to be brought to the Senate. We want the Speaker to make first the ruling of our removal last year before making the ruling of uh, Senator Kangata. Exactly. And in the Kangata, we want the evidence be tabled, including the numbers that signed against his removal and the signatures before we can proceed to say he has been removed. So as we stand here, Senator Kangata remains the majority whip in the Senate. Thank you very much. The expression of the six uh, senators uh, was has been interpreted to deny numbers for this PG. No, so the 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 the, 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 senate, the six senators are pursuing. You you can see the letter from the party said they can appeal the decision uh, of the party uh, related to expulsion. That does not make them that they are not senators. They are still senators. But they didn't attend this meeting. They didn't attend this meeting so uh, because so they were not invited. invited. They were not invited. So the they meeting. have numbers. It also said that uh, the decision to expel them was immediate. That means that they could not have attended this meeting. meeting. But also in the same letter says, uh, they but they can appeal. Them. So yes. meaning the expulsion cannot take effect until the appeal process is over. Yes. So yeah. The meeting today has been called before they were able to appeal. Feel. So any yes. decision to be made uh, is minus count the mean. six. Uh, I, 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 for as long as the standing order stand that they are jubilee, they are senators in the jubilee party. And you know the process of removing a senator. Is a long process. So for as long as they are senators, the standing orders, when the speaker is following the standing orders, he must count all the senators of Jubilee. These are the issues of uh, shenanigans that are happening here are not within the law. For until they are not Jubilee, well, until they are new senators that are coming to replace them, they are Jubilee senators. And their process of appeal still uh, sub subsists. It's ongoing. And uh, I'm sure that they are going to get the uh, necessary remedies. The party itself has admitted by, by, uh, via its letter that they have a right to appeal. And the period of appeal has not uh, terminated, collapsed. So the, it has not lapsed. So there is no way you can conclude that they are no longer senators when they can still have that option of exercising appeal. So you thank you. Like you are the underdogs in the Jubilee government, a government who participated in forming. Why don't you move out? We, 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 we are in Jubilee, we are the majority, so we move out from where? <laughs> because it is only the, the, the government that is run, the, the people who are running government now are the minority. Yes. So the rest of us are running the party. Where could the majority yes. And we may not be running, they, they, are, they, have, they have taken over the party headquarters, but the party members are this majority. And you saw them yesterday.
Yes, I was invited. We were all in, yeah. all of us who are here were invited to the meeting. Yeah. Uh, let me take uh, this opportunity <laughs> to thank those senators who have spoken in that meeting. All senators who have spoken in that meeting have supported me. No single senator spoke in that meeting against my leadership at all. And uh, secondly, of course in the worst case scenario where this seat actually moves uh, to another person, I will be gracious, I will remain a person who respects everyone, and therefore I will not insult anyone. Uh, be that as it may, the very fact I have been able to reach here to lead the Senate, notwithstanding my age, the fact that uh, my parents are just well, poor mechanics, hustlers, yeah, in Moranga town. So I, I, I thank God and also the confidence my colleagues had in my leadership. Uh, the Bible tells us that the truth shall set us free. The Bible also tells us Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were thrown in the fire, but they never get burned. Lion, Mr. Daniel was thrown in the lion's pit. Yeah, then, and was not eaten up by the lions. So notwithstanding whatever tribulations I am undergoing today, I will remain a person who is steadfast, who talks the truth. Because even the Bible tells us, the truth shall set us free. What I wrote concerning BBI, I did not insult anyone. I did not at all belittle the government at all. I even offered solutions. But imagine, today I'm being kicked out just for speaking the truth. Surely, I think for me, to the best of my knowledge, BBI ought to be something to unite Kenyans. BBI should be something that is cons to build bridges. It's about a consultative process. It's for every Kenyan. But it should not be for divided anyone. We should not divide this country. This country belongs to each and every Kenyan, but we should not use BBI to divide our people. Thank you. I'm now noticing that uh, this problem seems to have started after handshake. Now imagine the guy of handshake becoming the president of this country. Imagine the kind of tribulation we'll be undergoing. I would only urge, I would only urge the government only one thing. In my letter, I had urged the government to take care of the people of Mount Kenya region. In particular, issues of coffee. Please hasten enactment of the coffee bill. Two, the tea act that we passed was never operationalized. Please embed that tea into actual practice. Finally, issues concerning infrastructure in our region. I still insist they need to be completed so that the problems that our people are facing in our region are remedied. Thank you and God bless.